What's up my nerds, gamers and nerds and welcome back to the channel. Let's continue our journey with the Artful Escape. Let's do this. Let's continue our cosmic journey. It's like some far out Hendrix album cover. That's pretty true man, I'm not gonna deny that. Pretty red man. Oh my, all of a sudden we're in some uh, Rick and Morty universe. This dude must be tripping in some serious fucking shrooms, man, or LSD. This is so far out. What's up there, lad? I'm just trying to keep my head. Ah, a sensible thing, too. Rather important, one's head. Yeah, I agree. I mean, what can you do without a head? Evening, sir, or ma'am? No way! There's a whole damn theater in here! It's about to get destroyed by some fucking space rocks. Where to? I'm gonna stay here for now, buddy. Huge static scene. Lightman must be performing here. Oh, can I jive? Oh, this song makes me feel like pulling some shapes. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Dance complete. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Stupid, but fun. Where to? All right. Well, I guess uh, let's go to the top, shall we? Uh, this is not such a dodgy ass lift. You won't hear me complaining about this one. Come back here, microphone guy. Oh shit. He's never played a show. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. I think there's a little magic in him. There has to be. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon. Where are you sending him? Uh, the heliotrons. Oh, of course the heliotrons. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the heliotrons? Ah, Francis! Knew you'd probably make it. The Heliotroms, well, it's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. The whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamourcon. Wow. What's a Glamourcon? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. My name is Lightman. Recalibrate holograms for the kid. This is on you. Hey, come have some faith in me, man. Man, she really murders my vibe. Now, curtains are approaching. Any questions? Nope, I'm just gonna waltz blindly into the unknown. What's the heliotherm avenue? What kind of show is this? What's the heliotrom's uh, venue? More of the whole dimension. Their denizens socially resemble the actor hunter gatherers of the Philippines. Now, their wealth and standing is determined by the brilliance of their stories. They trade in stories. Oh man, they feed on them. Cool. I see the thrums venue. Okay, let's just go. Cool. Visit Violetta. She'll get you tuned in. Wait, is there anything else I sh I oh, 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 okay. It's time to rock, brother. My guitar. Yeah, definitely a guitar, buddy. Violetta, you gotta get me out of this. Don't look at me while I work. Oh. Sorry. I'm not looking. What were you thinking, coming out here? 
This is your fault. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Hey, I didn't want you for the show. White men did. And only because there's no one left. I gotta get back to Calypso. For your big show? Oh, crap. I forgot about the show. Listen, Francis. This place, the lung, we put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. I think I'm gonna hurl. Ah, come on, buddy, and in the bed. Really connected successfully. We're done. Anything else? Well, wish me luck. This was a mistake. What do you do here? Obviously, she's a fucking tech man. I mean, even a blind man can see that. Well, wish me luck. Let's get to rocket. Oh, what do we got here? Pay no attention to me. Okay. You've got it, friend. Attention shall not be paid. Why are you little fellas gonna run? What can I get you? Wait, how old are you? Seventeen years old. I exist outside the realm of age. Uh, twenty-four. I exist outside the realm of age. Not here, you don't. Look, come on, lady. It's glam, glam juice. You want? Try downstairs. We don't really cater to kids here. Listen, lady, I ain't no kid. I could be your daddy. Zom, this is so gonzo. You're like an intelligence from another world. I can only surmise you're enraptured with a sense of wonderment, majesty, a certain je ne sais quoi. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightman's first mate. I see to his affairs, anticipate needs, acquire the impossible. Cool. What impossible things have you acquired? Did you walk through the Austrian Opera House? I stole that. What? You stole a whole theater? An opera house, yes. There's so many in Vienna, it's easy to dash away with one. I left a paper mache replica in its place. Wow. Hopefully it doesn't, like, never rain there, you know. Some people are gonna be pretty pissed. Right. Where to? Well, I guess we're going to the lower deck. Why well, you gotta be jabbing the whole time, my friend? It's very happy to me. Can I check your coat? We are a professional, exceptionally discreet service. You honestly look like you're selling the coats. <laughs> I'm afraid we're closed. Ah, you bastard. You're never coat, man. Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my room. Yeah, I don't know, I get that right. Bunch of fucking weirdos. We all driving like little ass hats. I know! Act cool. Well, cooler than usual. Whoa. No one is going to believe this. Yeah, especially when you wake up from your trip, buddy. Alright, well... Where to? Where do we go then? I mean, guess we're going to the theater, right? Okay, quickly now. This is the Grand Theater. Performances are broadcast to the stage here. I'm gonna be broadcast to all these people. Heavens no! This is my stage. They'll play your pish posh in the disco. Oh, come on, dude. But no one in Calypso can see the broadcast. Right? They couldn't accidentally tune in? How would I know? Come on, man, follow me. 
Stop worrying, man. That one's gonna believe you anyway. Now this isn't a traditional performance. See, there's no stage. Well, there is. The landscape is the stage. But there's also stages. You feel me? Not really. What should I play? I've got this folky ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. You wear folk like a cheap suit, young blood. You're something else entirely. No time to gab. You're on. Got a rock, brother. Let it come from the heart, my buddy. Oh shit, I'm getting sucked into the oddly weird looking vagina. What can go wrong? What can go wrong? All right, young blood, get your ass up. Let's do this. You made it. Violetta, this is impossible. Where am I? You're in the far reaches of the cosmos now, kiddo. Jeez. And you want me to just dance out into it? That's right. Sparkle in your eye, candy in your heels. What am I supposed to do? Head east, into the foothills. You're looking for a creature called Star Gordon. He'll help you find your way back to the lung. You'll need to book through his agent. His agent? It's on Holiday Street, I think. Is this gonna be dangerous? Oh, yeah. I don't even come out here. Metal. No. Oh, Let me ask you this. When you're shredding that sci-fi guitar nonsense, who are you? Master of all destiny. An emperor of a dying star. The captain of my soul. I mean, the emperor of a dying star sounds pretty metal. Let's go with that one. An emperor of dying stars. Then that's who you must become. Damn it! Alright, Emperor of Dying Stars. Let's fucking rock. Hello, microphone boy. I haven't seen you in a while. Ah, oh, shit. Now that looks fucking good, man. Impossible! Jump for joy! Ah, that's beautiful, man. Oh, oh wait! <laughs> Fuck, I almost died. <laughs> yeah, that was so close, dude. Wee! <laughs> I have to have epic jumping sounds, man. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Should have broken my legs, but I didn't. All right. Prayer. Ah oh, shit, we're about to rock and motherfucking roll, guys. Let's do this. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy. You got a rock and roll in the soul. Lightman presents a note to Lightman. Fuck off, Lightman. It's my show. Coming here to steal my lightning. On the outer reaches of occupied space, a child was found adrift in a photon beam. His rescuers named him Lightman. By the time he was 12, many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. Interesting. Thanks for the Lightman knowledge, I guess. This spot in 1952, Lightman began his legendary Gold Weaver tour. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other. Still using the same axe, I can respect that. A duet with the Glamour Gong. It was to be the greatest performance in the history of the universe. Oh, there's the jam of the environment. Let's fucking do it. Amagon resides in the Hyperion Whale Zone. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone, but only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. For many, it is a one-way trip. Risking his life and that of his crew, Lightman arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53. known of the Glamagon's biology. It is described as a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed and watch it until they perish. Understandably, Glamagons are very hard to impress. Nah, oh, we'll impress the shit out of it, man. Don't, don't you think, guys? I know we will. It's one of the coolest stuff I've ever seen in a video game, man. I mean, any artist would appreciate this so much, dude. There are no recordings of Lightman and the Glamagon survived the performance. Their duet was heard across dimensions and cemented Lightman's place as one of humankind's seminal artists. Oh no, I didn't mean to die epically, but I did. Alright, let's not go all out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.
feel like there's such a cool way of like representing how music can touch your soul man in like a very artistic style this game is really hitting deep man and i appreciate that on his return lightman was granted command of the cosmic lung the lung is an entertainment vessel with a rich history a stepping stone for many legendary artists I don't know what the hell you are, like fucking weird ass giraffe sheep, but I'm digging it. <laughs> so don't take a shit on me now, giraffe sheep. You cannot kill the metal. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? What the future holds for 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 the no shit! Even bigger giraffe sheep! Don't squish me now! Holiday Street must be headed in the right direction. Right? A quick shred. Grollum talent and flair. This must be the place. Well, let's give these people a share of their lives, buddy. Hello, little potty cat. Do not touch me. Crap! I, I, I didn't know you could talk. <sighs> I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast cosmic migration. Yeah. Wow. I guess I am. Does a migration always go there and back, or can it be one way? It can be one way. Why? Not planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? You'd better go straight through. Thank you, buddy cat. Mr. Fuzzy Boots. Insert any cute cat pet name. For me, it's gonna be Captain Fuzzy Boots. Oh, these guys are the fuzzy footsies. Microphone people, what up? Yo, wake up! Hey, beastie! Er, I'd like to make an appointment. Do you uh, want to jam? Uh, I'd like to make an appointment. Dreadful. Huh? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. No shit. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Ugh. An entrance, literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. You lucky duck. Okay. Right.
Hey, buddy. I'm here to entertain you. Yeah, you sloth buddy, you like that, don't you? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, slippery fingers. There we go. Told you, man. It's a bit nervous. Hell yeah, brother. such an insignificant creature. Learn to howl from a wild wolf pack. You were too kind. It was a pleasure. Hell yeah. Learn Let's to howl back. from a wild wolf pack. And, of course, you're looking for representation. No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. <laughs> Star Gordon? <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? Well, I need to get back to the Cosmic Lung. Mm, I can understand that. But is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Hey! Fall be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? Oh, his den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Yeah, come on. Spit it out, sloth boy. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I'd bet my hump on it. Okay, well, you keep uh, slumbering, sloth boy. Thanks for the jam. Onward we go, brave rockstar adventurer. Ah, oh, please don't squish me. Can we uh, rock and roll? Hell yeah, we can. Oh man, that looks so pretty, dude. The art behind this game is insane. What? Hey, that's not you hit me. I got you. I got you. Oh shit! I'm gonna play some Gajira now, boys. Got flying whales.
you're gonna die. Don't die. <laughs> okay, we're good. Sorry, I was uh, distracted by some flying whales. Dope. Gordons. Looks like an amusement park ride. Oh, let's get this crazy ride on the fucking go then, my man. We ain't gonna get famous doing nothing. Into some stormtroopers soon, I can feel it in my gut. Welcome to Star Gordon's, the trip of a lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing, never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna start the power red right row. This is so cool, dude! I can't get over it! Oh, I don't want to jump, because I'll probably die, unless it's uh, like a glass floor. <clears throat> well, friends, if we die, terribly sorry. It's a glass floor, we're safe! Hello there, Gary. Been a very long time since a little fly buzzed in here. I'm looking for Star Gordon. Shit, you look more like a Squidward than a Gary now. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. You. Friend of Zeitman's? Yeah. I am the wild... I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. Ah, that's so. It's early like Death Clock when they fucking swear and it's just like that little guitar riff. <laughs> you Pretty cool, the man. Of a story I do feel like this game pulls like some inspiration it. from Midlock Lips. So that's pretty cool, man. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am. Where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from, that's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? You can tell me all about it. Yeah, cool. Where are we going? Oh, to the stars. Tell me of your home planet. <sighs> Time to get trippy again. Mm. 
Looked like a boy was turning the Cyclops there for a second. Choose your home planet, Von Belladon. Renowned for fireworks, starships, and romantic novelettes. Garmoth, a world of aluminium towers, colossal stadiums, and crystal bridges, all ringing in the key of A. Candy Hammer. <laughs> it's a new fucking. Uh, it's a bloody band called Man. Ah, I can't get the band's name right now, but it sounds like something for them. Rotates on axis equal to the mathematical formula of the perfect cream filled Krombeg. Krombeg? Krombebeg? Uh, Ramjet Rock, home to the Museum of Billion Spiders. Weird. Blue Gum! All major cities revolve on a singular pivot joint, no wider than a bison's eye. Nesbeam. Delivers occasional proto human wonder beings, world eating villainy. Cosmic Extraordinaire looks different to everybody. Brewers of milk that transports all consumers to a Manchester dance party in September. <laughs> what the hell? World Blue Word. 16A Park Street. Just past Gluston Height of the M1? What the fuck? Alright, I, I, I think I know which one I want. Yeah, boy, we go in this beam. Oh yeah, Candy Hammer? Sounds like a Cannibal Corpse song. There we go. The name finally got to me. Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the wild... Come on, it's the wild entity, man. It's not even a bad word. An entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. Welcome. Truly a pleasure. Uh, what's going on? I'm manipulating the thoughts of your television audience. Uh, Truly a pleasure. Isn't it? You're from Nesbeam. Correct? That's correct, yes. Still visit when the occasion calls. Oh yeah, of course. Still visit when the occasion calls. Yeah. Tell me about it. Um, sure. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. It's a utopian civilization devoted to leisure and luxury. It's a guns of war machine of constant laser battles. I mean, bruh, this is metal. AF, we're it's going for this one. It's a war machine of constant laser battles. That must have been traumatic for you. I'm horrified to admit it. I adore it. Children of war have weary eyes, heavy with a weight of no child should bear. Of course, but there was brevity at times and purpose. Of course, but there was brevity at times and purpose. Like a flower between abysses. It's somewhat like that second movement of the Moonlight Santana. Well, when you're trying to bring down an alien hyper blob, you make a few friends along the way. You appreciate time, it becomes precious, your only commodity. Ah. Yes. Somewhat like the second movement of the Moonlight Sonata. Towering monuments on either side. The delicate, the underappreciated in between. Your conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Being the first solos to jam with an alien mothership. Commanding the heavy metal light brigade. Ah, oh, bruh. Leading the space convoy of the infinitely loud galactic symphony. Infinitely loud galactic symphony. Sometimes my brain goes poop. Alright, I mean commanding the heavy metal light brigade. I mean, it's not a choice for us, my friends. Commanding the heavy metal light brigade. Yeah, that's right. A heavy metal military unit? Were you in PSYOPs? Let's just say it was the largest array of speakers assembled in the universe. Yes, I performed the riff so complex they were intimidated until a full route. I started jamming, they started dancing. Ah. Let's just say 
It was the largest array of speakers assembled in the universe. And we haven't heard from them since. Oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night. To drown out the voices just for a while. Yeah, buddy. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? Stowed away on a combat zeppelin, through a portal on the inside of a giant's eye, on a starship made from champagne flutes. What the fuck? Uh, let's go through a portal. Through a portal on the inside of a giant's eye. Mm. A giant? What style? Okay. Mingare, wild love, all marched together, a hulk of biomass. Unspecified amorphous, hard to describe a horror. A beast snout in the clouds, volcanoes for hands. That sounds a pretty beast metal. beast snout in the clouds, volcanoes for hands. An eye like the dome of the Hollywood Bowl. Uh-huh, how did you bring it down? With a swift, almost invisible lift jab. A spectacular volley of foul language. You got a solo that punched a hole in the sky. I mean, bruh, uh, this one is pretty dope, but I'm gonna keep it metal as fuck. A guitar solo that punched a hole in the sky. Cute trivium's down from the You'll sky. Have to teach me the riff. <laughs> it's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love, fear. What scares you? What scares me? Uh, hello. Where would I begin? To go through life quietly and fade away, my uncle, to live beneath a towering shadow. Uh, yeah, let's go, to go through life quietly and fade to away. To go through life quietly and fade away. You feel compelled to be a creature of special significance. Don't we all feel like that? I suppose always being expected of me, I never had a choice. Don't we all feel like that? We all want to be something extraordinary. How high do you aim, you know? Ambition is a hungry, salivating, complex creature. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid without grief or grandeur. No, totally untrue. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. <laughs> they're, uh, what? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all. <laughs> Hello? What a, what a weird talk show. <laughs> what a fucking weird talk show. Alright my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. If you liked the video, leave a like and a subscribe. And then yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Keep it metal my friends. Cheers.